When a game begins with you robbing a bank wearing a big head for a mask, you know you're in for something special. It might seem as though Saints Row the Third might be giving itself away a little too early, but in reality, the fun only begins there. Like its predecessor, Saints Row the Third starts with you customizing your character, and once you're done, you're given a free reign to do whatever you want. Side missions are still necessary to gain enough respect to enable story missions, but they're just as plentiful as in the last game, and more importantly, a lot less frustrating. Saints Row the Third simply abandons all pretenses of realism. One of the first weapons you'll obtain is a giant purple dildo on a stick. You can dress as a ninja and stay dressed this way, and people will still somehow talk to you as though it were something normal. The game's graphics also sacrifice the more realistic aesthetic in favor of a more caricaturistic style, but it fits well with the game's absurd tone, not to mention that your enemies actually consist of caricatures themselves. Technically, the game is a significant improvement over its predecessor, as pop-in is rarely noticeable and the frame rate stays solid throughout. Expect a constant 60 frames per second if you have the hardware. The story itself is basically an excuse for as many immature jokes and absurd combat scenarios as possible to occur as you are tasked with conquering the seemingly unfamiliar yet strangely similar steel port. If a feeling of deja vu strikes you, don't fret, because in reality, Steelport is, like Stillwater, just another playground for you to screw around in, but it does a fantastic job at encouraging you to do so. One new addition is challenges that reward you with money once you complete them. From streaking, to killing a certain number of people with headshots, everything interesting you do will reward you. The most effective way to earn money is still taking over turf and buying properties, but when the game encourages you to run over as many pedestrians as possible on the way, don't be surprised if you give in to the temptation. The game's upgrade system has also been overhauled. Side missions and secrets are now introduced throughout story missions, as opposed to simply being scattered around the city. However, instead of receiving perks after completing certain side missions, you can now straight up buy these if you have enough money. Everything from higher damage to outright unlimited ammo and health is available to you. Saints Row the Third simply wants to be played with. While most other games would reserve such advantages for cheat codes or omit including them altogether, you receive them as a reward for being diligent enough. The way secrets are handled in particular is brilliant. At one point, one of the unlocks you can buy is to have secrets displayed, but only on your minimap. It strikes a great balance between keeping you on the lookout for them, while also offering you the opportunity to actually find some of them. Saints Row the Third sacrifices any semblance of challenge and realism, but it does so to keep the action going and the player entertained. If you want a mature, scientifically plausible experience, this isn't it. If you just want to have fun in an open world setting, you've come to the right place.